Today, take a look at the wireless HDMI extender. So we've got our two boxes. They both say 4K UHD. And the interface looks pretty similar. On them. The big difference is this one says RX, so that is the receiver. TX is the transmitter. Looks like they have some venting cut out on the bottom, and they got rubber feet. We got our quick start guide. We got two power supplies. They both go to USB A, and they output two amps at five volts. We got two HDMI cables. So one of them is about a maybe eight inch, and the other one looks like it is about three feet. So plenty of length on that. We got our USB cables. These are both USB A to USB C. And we got two adapters. So these are both HDMI. One of them is mini HDMI. The other one is micro HDMI. So if you're trying to plug this into a camera, which is going to be what I'm going to be doing, you might need an adapter like this. So I'm very happy that they got these adapters in here. So I'm going to plug the HDMI into the transmitter and the power. I'm going to plug into my battery. And the HDMI, I'll plug into the back of the TV. Plug that into the receiver and supply that with power. And we can see we are flashing on here. So we are connected. If we look up here, we can see exactly what the camera is showing. So what that means is I'm going to be able to work over here. And I'm going to be able to see on a big display what I'm actually going to be looking at instead of having to rely on that tiny little display that's actually on the camera. The main benefit of this is I can take my camera. I can move it anywhere I want to. I don't have to worry about getting tangled up with that cord anymore. So wireless really is the only way to go. One very nice thing that we get this is there's actually channels. What that means is if we got two different sets of these and we want to be able to run them independently, we could do that by changing the channels. However, if we keep them on the same channel, we could actually run one transmitter and two receivers. So I have the same information going from my camera to two different monitors. So if I was doing something where I need to have like a director of photography as well as a director and they both need to be able to look at it, but they want to look at different monitors, we could do that with this. I could also set it up just like I have here so I could see what I'm doing, but I could also have another monitor in another part of the room so the client could watch that. And it is transmitting fairly flawlessly and I love that 4K. I've used these with 1080p, 4K is just that much better.